Today, we are going to talk about Chinese characters. Recognizing Chinese characters, we have to first look at the components. Let's look at an example here. This is a character, Xiang, means want or to think of. It has three components. It has wood, mu. It has eye, mu. It has heart, xing. So when we recognize it, we use the components. But in order to write it, we have to know basic strokes. So let's take an example. We break this down. The mu has the stroke of hung. It has a stroke of shu. It has pie. It also then has na. Look at the xing again as example. You have dian. You have wo go. You have dian. And then one more dian. So now I'm going to introduce you the basic strokes that we're going to use in the class. Okay. Dian. Hung, shu, pie, na, your pen is going to stay. T, you release your pen at the end. For hung, we can have hung, zhe. For shu, you can have shu, zhe, Chinese left to right in writing. For pie, you can merge with the dian. You can have pie dian. It has to balance, so you would not write this way. You gotta make it balanced. Okay. For heng zhe, you can have heng zhe go. So go means the hook at the end. For shu, you can have shu qu go. Qu means a curve right here. Okay. For this. You can also have hung go, hung go. This here, you can have hung chu go. Chu means the end here. For pie, we can also put hung and pie together. You can have hung pie, hung pie. For this t. We can look at with shu. You can have shu ti, shu ti, and of course shu can also have the go together. You can have shu go, shu go. Now for this, we also have a wo go. Wo go means to lay down, so your spine naturally curved. So you can have wo go this way. You can also do it vertically. Wo go. If it's tilted, so it's not horizontal or vertical. This is called xie go. Xie go. So we can have heng xie go. Heng xie go. This is the basic strokes that you can you are going to learn in this class, and we'll use it in the writings.